Atlas, um, a Nim can't escape all of them, so he eventually just burns down. But with the engine upgrade, he has a shot, and um, it gives him some maneuverability against stuff like Kylo. Um, and yeah, I think it's a good call. He said it's, well, obviously it's working out for him, but uh, he said he was playing a lot on Vassal and originally ATLT, but uh, he feels like Auto Blaster is working out better for him. I think in this matchup, Auto Blaster is not great. It's good against Fen, don't get me wrong, because uh, you have the barrel roll and you have the boost for range one, but um, it's not going to help him much against, uh, against Pete's Nim. So let's see here. We have harpoons, harpoons, yeah, harpoons, and more harpoons. Yeah, that's so, a lot of harpoons. So Pete's list is now. I I haven't talked to Justin. I did talk to Pete prior to this match, and if they're going, we're probably just gonna let them go, and uh, and have at each other. Now, Pete, uh, to to quote him directly, said he was kind of screwed. Uh, in this matchup, and that Justin has better bombs and uh, a bid, so he was particularly worried about that. He's worried, to, and he's his. He was hoping to kill Nim on the first engagement, uh, which he thought would be difficult. He has to surprise Justin with Justero's ability. Yes, and it, we watched him pull that off before on stream, and I believe he may have done that against you. Was that something that caught you off guard when you played Pete? He surprised the living shit out of me. Right, so he's been able to do that, right? So it's really, Pete's got to have a great engagement where he can take Nim off the board and then he's got the, he can out-PS Miranda and get work damage into her. Yeah, just, right? uh, just really quickly, Pierre, uh, QD, new is flying against uh, Nim Miranda. And yeah, to, to kind of clarify on what Devin was saying, Pete's main concern with the bombs here, in terms of the bomb advantage for Justin, is the ion bomb, right? So if the ion bomb hits, um, Pete can't bomb the next turn because he's no longer revealing a maneuver. Um, so that's something in his favor, in my opinion. I don't think it's as bad as he thinks it is. Because if you're throwing an ion bomb, and if, you, and if the other player is throwing a proton, yeah, sure, you might not be able to throw a bomb next turn, but you would think that because ion bombs don't do any damage, it's kind of a wash. Um, it does make it super predictable, though, for setting up like uh, consecutive bombs from Justin. I, this will be a really interesting matchup. Uh, I think it'll, unfortunately, be a relatively quick game because Pete will want to go for the Joust, definitely. Um, he his, his sole purpose right now, I think, is to kill that Nim uh, immediately. Mm -hmm. and hope to God that he still has a Nim on the board, or if he has a tandem of the Justero with Fen, he can easily take down that Miranda. Now, something to also talk about is Justin has Ion Bombs on his Nim. So if he's able to... You just said that? My apologies. I was uh, trying to get their lists right in my brain. Have you guys so, talked about whether you like Ion over um, Stress? The, well... Ions versus thermals is what you expect in the meta to be there, right? So if you're expecting Wookiees to show up, you want thermals. Yes. Anything else, you want ions. Yeah, Pete, right. Pete was really good with thermals. Also because his list is jousty, thermals really mess you up, right? Because on a joust, he he thermaled my Omega leader, and then so I couldn't K-turn. And then so he just immediately K-turned behind me. Right, and that's a huge advantage. Like normally, you make the trade of okay, I'll K turn, you K turn, but he he's just got amazing positioning. And um, Victor, uh, just to, as a note, Pete has uh, extra munitions in his list. Uh, this was an error uh, in round one. So so but so Pete has four bombs versus Justin, who has uh, infinite bombs, four two proton, two ion, and infinite bomb lit. And Nim has seismic and thermals, right? Yeah. Pete also has genius on his list. There's a lot so, to keep track of. Yeah. Do these, these guys show up to the table with like binders? Yep. Like, yep. Absolutely. There's just piles and piles of cards. Yeah. So, I mean, how, like we're running out of room to d even display some of these upgrades on Captain Nim. There's just too many upgrades on this upgrade bar. They're literally breaking the system. Our yeah. Our our display is literally 
heaving at the edges. It just it is the the buttons are 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 splitting. It is it is it is a fat Captain Nim at fifty one points. Okay, so so this I mean we're we're looking at Pete coming in and he is going to try to kill Nim or Justin's Nim and I think he's got a pretty good setup for that with Justero and uh, his Fen. But uh, we've got a question in chat about uh, whether Justin's been on stream before. Justin was on stream before, and he double protoned uh, his opponent off the board, killing most of his ships with that attack. So uh, this he's Justin's very good with this list, and this will be very interesting to see how he approaches uh, Pete's list and whether Pete can get the surprise or Justero triggering off of uh, maybe Justin's own bombs if he ends up bombing himself. Yeah, I Pete. After Pete and I played, he asked me for suggestions on his deployment, and I told him at the time that he should really flank with Fen. There's no reason to go head on. I I I do think he still should have. I get that it's not a P. Oh shit! Here we go. I get that it's not a PTL yep. Fen, and that's an ion bomb. So Justin is yeah. using all the correct tokens, which is appreciated. A lot of the players use whatever acrylics they have, so you have to guess whether it's a thermal or a seismic or a proton, but that is an that is an ion bomb, which as a rebel nim, he can hold and wait there. Yeah. I I don't think Fen wants to be there. He can K turn for sure, but I think I think he could have wrapped, especially if it looks like he's going to be he's gonna be forced to because of that that top right rock there. He's most likely gonna be forced to shoot at Miranda. Um he, he can turn in towards the rock, but I don't think he'll have range. It's hard to tell on the screen, guys, but it's, uh, I don't think he'd have range if he did a two bank. Target lock onto Nim, and he would also be screwed for the next turn. Yeah, I think Fen. Fen's in a really rough place right now. Fen does not want to be in that lane. Oh. Very interesting. That's a good move. So now, why is that a good move? So Fen's locked into going upboard to the sh to his ship right to avoid that ion bomb, and that uh, auto blastering Nim is now in there, right to to do damage to Nim in the next round. On top of that, he's going to throw another bomb down. Right? There's literally no room in that lane now where you're not going to get bombs. This must be um, practice, because. And uh, yeah, that's no surprise. But like, this is like, this is a great, great opening by Justin. I don't fly with bombs at all. I don't even know what bombs do. But um, bombs win games, Alan. Apparently, yeah. What happened? Um, this is this is a. I mean, uh, a novice looking at this match might think that they're jousting and things are gonna go either way. But really, right now, it sounds like you think that it, this is tipped very, very heavily in Justin's favor. I think so. I'm really curious to know what maneuver he puts in. Now, Peter can also bomb. He can throw a seismic or a thermal, but he's really got to get Justero in there to get Ark on, ha on on Nim. And that rock is right in his way. Yeah. I'm really curious as to who Justin is gunning for right here. Did he did he LRS anyone? He did. He, he LRS Fen. Yeah. So he might do a three bank there. He's going after Fen, which... That's an interesting call. His Fen fits right in the middle of his eight and his ten. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no scavenger crane on Justero, so I guess yeah, you just eat that one and you deal with it. Now both of these nims are auto blaster nims. Does that mean that maybe Justin is less afraid of Pete's nim? Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. I, so I think, I think Miranda TLT can take on a nim with auto blaster. Okay. I think that's why he's going after Fen because Fen is Fen is the one ship that for sure can kill. Miranda, I'm assuming that Justin realizes that it's very likely going to be a Nim for Nim trade, or Nim for his Nim for Fen trade, and that's not bad because that shuts down Justero a bit. Justero is going to throw his uh, harpoons, but Miranda will regen those eventually. Now this is a big choice for Pete here. What do you think he's thinking as he's plotting in that maneuver for Justero because he really wants to get that double tap in on Nim next round. The, the engagement's happening next round. He wants Justero to do double to do that double shot. He's made a decision with Justero that's affecting what he's doing with Fen. Well, 
it's it's gonna be tough right because as i was saying earlier if he does a two bank i don't think he gets that that target lock into nim and he needs that he doesn't have lrs so i think he kind of has to do two straight and then miranda's not going to be taking bomb damage i'm, I'm let's see I just it's going can't. hard. Ooh, four forward. He's probably going to hard one the next turn. I think he's going to try to acquire lock and then nim right here, which is the right move, and then hard one in. That's and, my best bet. And this also serves somewhat as a block for Miranda. She can't. She'd have difficulty three banking or three forwarding here. That's going to be an issue. I sh I think she'll three bank in she towards the ion bomb, or no, out. Not in towards the ion bomb, but so she has the harpoon shot on Fen. Because Fen's in a really difficult they, position. Great call, Alan. We've got a three bank coming in. Uh, so she'll be able to harpoon uh, Pete's Nim with a... No, uh, the Fen. Fen. Oh, Fen with a five die harpoon. Fen so. has a lock. Because because he's identified that Fen is the only ship that can hunt down that Miranda. Even if it's a Nim, right? Like, oh, and we're having a bomblet drop? Yeah. Uh, Pete being the very nice and gentleman that he is... Um, He's letting him go back and place the bomblet because Nim will hold it, I guess, if he if he sees like he will. Um, but yeah, he's realizing that even if Pete's Nim is chasing after uh, his Miranda, that's that's a winnable matchup, right? You're he's got infinite bombs out the back. You're re well, it's a TLC versus Auto Blaster. Oh, all right, right. Yeah. fair enough. So Absolutely. like you're gonna regen even if he boosts in, you still have your you still have your primary, right? Like oh, I'm which not can be a f uh, four yeah. die primary at range one. Yeah, it's like oh, you're gonna throw two dice with your auto blaster. I'll throw two dice and regen a shield, right? He's gonna win that nine times out of ten. Is that a slam? Uh, that interesting, uh, interesting decision that I'm gets him out of range one of Jostro, and maybe sets up a block. It, that means he's okay taking that ion for the next round. Oh, well, he could nim it. He could nim it. I and that's a real, really psychological move versus Pete if he nims that ion. Oh man! Personally, I would have, I would have sucked up Jashiro shots. Like, who gives a crap? Oh, it's because he focused. That's why, right? So Pete, I guess, was deciding, or maybe he didn't have range. He's threatening. Uh, yeah, Miranda. I, I assume that Pete was target locking Justin's nim. But in which didn't. case, like, yeah, go ahead, throw those four dice, um, like naturals. You might get two hits. I don't give a crap. He's also got my name. Oh, true. He's got Mind Lake. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, okay. So that opens up Fen style a little more here. That opens up Fen style. Fen is still going to eat it. He has no place to go. And even if he boosts, he's taking two bombs. Is that an Ion Bomb? Or the, ion, the Ion Bomb is underneath Miranda at this point. He's, he's taking two bombs. He's going to he's going to probably do it one straight. Just going to with his Nim. And so, but he can... Also, drop that uh, our proton bomb yeah. before he moves. Oh, yeah, yeah, That's what I mean. Drop it onto Fen. Fen gets a crit before he even gets to shoot. That is a nightmare scenario for Fen. This is a weird situation. I really, uh, I'm not sure that slam was the right move. N not only, like, it, for positioning, it's great, but, like, sh she's going to get bombed to hell, too. He can't throw a proton. Otherwise, Miranda eats it. If Miranda gets a damaged engine, game is over. But we watched Justin in a previous match proton his own Miranda just to take his opponent's chips off the board. It's something he's done before. He actually killed his own yeah. in situations too. Like Pete as well was bombing his own chips just to take their opponent just to take quick draw off the board. No. So this is something we've seen both of these players do before is just be willing to oh, eat bombs. Man, this is bad. Okay, so so Justin's Moran is gonna eat a range one shot from from Pete's Nam. And bombs. What bombs are Miranda gonna eat? He drop a genius. But uh but, Nim but if, if if Justin doesn't throw a bomb, right? right? If he doesn't throw a bomb here, he's basically trading one Nim shot for just a bunch of shit onto Miranda. Like like he needs those bombs to to get ahead. P could leave a proton bomb behind this round with his name and then drop another one next turn because Miranda's in one forward. Yeah, so there's both of yeah. Pete Pete does not have proton bombs. Oh, Pete only has right. seismics and thermals. That still, still. Like you don't want to you don't yeah, I think this is bad. Pete's throwing a bomb right here. So oh, with is, genius. With genius, he's You're, throwing right, a bomb. So, so he's anticipating one straight. Right. Cuz he cuz he's anticipating like I am that Justin is going to also throw a okay. five die or sorry, five maneuver bomb. I guess he could genius it. Does he have genius? 
They both have genius. He, he has genius. So he could do a one straight and then chuck it. I still think that clips Miranda. I think Miranda's in a really rough spot right now. Now, Pete's thrown down a bomblet, but I'm not sure if that is a seismic or a, it's thermal, a, it's detonator. a thermal detonator. So Pete has put down a thermal detonator. We yeah. can hear. Oh, there we go. We've got uh, the correct bomb from Justin. Thank you, Justin. That's, uh, that's appreciated. Even though he doesn't have thermals, Justin still has the thermal bomb on him. And uh, that's going to stress Nim, but I'm not sure. Without Sabine on his side I, or Cad Bane, I don't think Pete's going to be able to push the damage through with bombs that he's going to need to to compete in this match. This is the most number of times I've said the word bomb in like f 10 minutes since like Bomberman 64 or Bomberman on SNES. You, you guys count ever played how many that? times we each say bomb in the next two matches. There you go. There's the one yeah. forward from the Nim that you predicted. This and we've got three bombs on the map, and we're going to have four Gen yeah, right now. Genius bomb. Here's a proton bomb. He's got it down. He's made that decision. Away it goes. I, uh, I just don't. Do you know what I mean, though? If if Miranda didn't slam, because it was a three straight, yeah. well, she he would. hold off that bomb and let it not blow up. But Miranda's taking ion. Ion does zero damage. And, or she's taking a proton and an ion. No, he, can, he, hold them, them both he can hold the proton bomb. I don't think he will. I think he's got to push all of that damage through to to Pete's ships. And I agree with you. I'm just saying. Did Miranda is Miranda locked by Nim right now? Uh, no, Nim focused. Yeah, but Nim also has a lock. No, he's got a lock on his other Nim. I think you see proton uh, harpoon because he has an LRS. Oh, he might poon. So we're <sighs> gonna see so much splash damage right now. It's gonna be tough for us to keep uh, uh, ahead of what's going on, and. Uh, uh. We're going to have to be chasing and, and uh, running out to see. After the combat phase, we're going to send one of our, our producer spies out to figure out what's actually happened and make sure that we've got all the triggers happened and all the damage done. But uh, this is going to be, oof. So I'm I'm not even I'm not even that against Miranda taking damage. She has shields. She she can regen. It's not a problem. The issue is that she had a harpoon shot lined up so here uh nim justin's nim just target locked fen rao so is he gonna harpoon fen he has to in fact he might be able to kill fen before fen even shoots fen shoots are you guys wondering why he didn't decide to boost with his fen that turn uh I, um, I think he target locked um so he has full mods on the shot so in chat people are wondering uh whether or not well, there's a comment that Genius and Trajectory shouldn't be a thing. While I agree that it is a a poor game design, uh, the rules currently allow it, and you can't, by personal reasons, ban something because you don't like it. Yeah. Like, I, that's a bad precedent to set. I have the utmost respect for the guys in Chicago, but I don't think it's really our place. Like, it would almost be the equivalent of saying, you know, during the Dengar Nim, or sorry, Dengar Nim, the... Um, Denguru meta, right? That you know we made. We have a blinded pilot assigned to which ship? Stunned pilot to Miranda. Stunned pilot to Miranda. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Fen Rao has direct hit, to Fen. direct hit on Fen Rao. Which means Miranda takes damage next turn because she will bump Nim. If she's ion. Uh, if she's ion, if Miranda is ion. Unless he's holding the ion bomb. What do we have? Stunned pilot again. We don't know. Victor, can you hear the table? Do you know what we had? The crit was on Nim. Uh, no, I'll go and check. But uh, Ben got Sabine as well. So Ben. Ben took direct hit. Yep. I don't know why well, Ben should not be on. No, it should be on two because direct yeah. hit plus Sabine. That's three then. Oh, that's three. Yeah. Right. So Ben right. so onto right. yeah, right. Fen onto one hull. Yeah. Oh, that is brutal. Oh, Nim got direct hit. There. Yeah. Oh, no, Fen, no, Fen got direct hit. No, we're correct. Uh, we just, shaking pilot on Nim. That's not bad. Nim just can't go straight. But if he's ioned, it doesn't matter. So proton bomb went off. Is the ion going to go off now? So Justin may not want to do that if Miranda has stunned pilot, right? Now he has oh and uh, the no, ion. He had chosen. Uh, he said that he had chosen to not detonate the bomb with generator. Oh, before interesting. Before resolving any of the other bombs. So. so Miranda is automatically taking a damage next turn because she's going to bump into yep. Nim. Interesting. Oh dear. 
That's okay. I think it's a, that's a decent call by Justin. Uh, are we seeing an ion token out there? Perfect. Thank you, Justin. I think I think that's okay because it just preserves Miranda a bit more. Fen is dead. And does Ion Bomb deal damage? No, it does not. Okay. Um, and so Ion doesn't deal damage because he already Sabined off of the Proton Bomb. Fen taking three there. That's brutal. And now we're seeing a preservation of this position into the next turn. And Pete's Nim can no longer drop bombs because he's no longer revealing a dial. He's not going to be able to use that to his advantage to come back from this in the next round. That's really rough for him. The crit, not the Pete's crit on Nim, not so bad. But uh, let's see here. So Pete's got initiative. Uh, Victor, if you can mark that. Oh, so he shot at Nim. Nim. That was two shields? Two shields off of Justin's Nim. Oh, here we go. That and looks like range two. Range two on Fen. Now, this is the second time on stream we've seen Pete's Fen yeah. at Harpoon range two. Like and yeah. Harpoon I, here. I boosted, he would have been in range one and had his evade token. There's VI and Harpoon missiles. And let's see how this goes. Well, that's a lot of paint that's using that target lock. He's dead. Two hits and a crit. Oh, maybe he's not dead. But we need, well, we need to see... We need all paint. All paint from Pete. All paint. You can do it, Pete. This is... This is this is going to be tough. Oh. That's not all paint. That's a, one heck of a dead fan. But the harpoon condition doesn't go on. The harpoon condition doesn't trigger. And uh, we're not going to see that splash splash damage coming out. Uh, true. But this is... I mean, okay... Two more despite, crits on Fen. Despite Miranda not shooting, killing Fen for three shields on Nim is perfect. It's just, yeah, I don't know. I, I think this is exa exactly where it wants to be. Pete's only chance of coming back is if he somehow triggers your Stero and just blows Nim off the board and has two ships. But he can't drop bombs next turn, so he, he, he's able to set up Jostro... Next turn, but Nim can't drop a bomb. Well, here's the thing sure though: can. can just does Justero's ability trigger on a, on opposing bombs dealing damage to an opposing ship? I would say yes. Because if it if it if it does say that, then if Justin yeah. somehow flubs and deals another damage to his own Miranda, then Miranda might get double tapped, or if he even takes one on Nim. If he somehow takes one on Nim. Or if uh, Pete is able to put a harpoon condition on one of the ships and then shoot with Just Arrow, trigger their harpoon, they take a damage outside of the step, and then he shoots again with Just Arrow. Once per round after an enemy ship that is not defending against an attack suffers or damage or critical damage, you may perform an attack against that ship. So he the answer hard, is no. He can hard too. Yes, he can. When Miranda takes damage, he can fire. Did you say it was stun I'm pilot? A, I'm a stun pilot. Who has stun pilot? Miranda. Miranda. So if, so if he, Miranda bumps, she takes correct. a damage. And then Jostero can shoot her. Uh oh. Yes, with a harpoon missile. Do you think that so one hard makes it though? That's Pete's, the question. Pete's yes. got to set it up. Like, he's got to know that that's how his ship works. I imagine this is going to be the first time that that situation like that has come in. He's played this list for about a week. I don't think one hard has arc. That's going to be rough. Hard too. He, al he also needs a lock. Yeah. If, he's, if he's going for Miranda. And, but that's going to be at range one. It's an attack. He can shoot harpoons, but at range one, he's not going to be able to shoot harpoons. He's going to have to primary them. I think he cuts his losses and just one hard focuses and goes for the Nim. I think the Nim's, three, the Nim's three shields down. If you deal like four and like PS zero him or something crazy, you, you can you can really change the balance of the game. I think I think like one harding, even, even if you had arc on that Miranda, double tapping her with one mod is not worth it. This is, this is both, both of them have genius. Both of them have trajectory so simulator. Pete's got initiative. He can go two four and drop a bomb. No, that, no, yeah. he cannot. So Pete is ion. So when oh, you're ion, oh, you're you. not revealing a dial. If you're not revealing a dial, you can't drop a reveal bomb. Thank you for clarifying. So, so Pete's in a really rough place here with Nim, where he's really limited in what he can do. They're both auto blaster. We'll be seeing auto blaster shots. Miranda's not going to be moving anywhere. She's going to bump, take damage, take an auto blaster. Justero's going to turn in. What's Justin doing with his Nim, Alan? 
I don't know. Red is not gonna take any attacks this round. Can you four forward out of there? Five forward is red on the on the Havocs. Well, he's stressed somehow. Good call. Sh- One heart there from Pete. Oh, that's an arc. Do? That's an arc. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna switch the lock? This is a decision. I think you do not. Do not. He moves first anyway. Patrick is it's not. Oh wait, never mind. Um, I thought you were talking about Pete not revealing that dial. Now, in the but. chat, they've pointed out that Genius is after a maneuver. It's after a maneuver that hasn't bumped or overlapped, and there really wouldn't be a point to trajectory simulating forwards. Now, he might be able to do it backwards, but we'll have to see. Sorry, what did Pete just do there? Is he focusing? He, he target-locked. He target-locked Miranda. He did? Yeah. yeah. How come there are two locks on uh, Nim then? Uh, one of them may be Fens that wasn't cleared from previously. I don't see a lock on her. The lock is from his um, Havoc. Yeah, but where's the lock on Miranda? There isn't. It looks like you guys called right. He's going after the other Havoc. But where's his focus then? Is it underneath the three? No Sorry. Jostro took a target lock there, Alan. Instead of focus. Onto who, though? Onto Nim. Onto oh, Nim. Onto Nim. Right, 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 right. Okay. He never had a target lock. Gotcha. I see what you're right. saying. He okay. focused last turn and then... Uh, Interesting call there from Justin. Okay, so he's he's Pete. hoping, he's praying to God right now that Justin is going to drop a bomb. It looks like Pete decided to not use Jostro's ability or didn't realize he could off of the bump. He Yeah, he may not have realized he could. Oh, uh, true, yeah. Because I think if Pete could have taken a free shot there, he would have, and he could have taken that shot. Does that fall under missed opportunity? That absolutely falls under missed opportunity. Okay. Yeah, because you may. You don't have to. You don't have to shoot. And we have the last ion bomb being uh, trajectory simulated out. This is so rough. Ion bomb is like the bomb that Pete doesn't want to see in in a mirror match. Well, that's what he was saying before the game, that he thought he was screwed, that this was just going to be a really tough matchup for him because Justin had better bombs and more of them. I think they are just... They're... I think it's out. This is going to really matter, and I think... Because of the nubs, you, you when you measure, you measure from nubs, I think he might have that range one into uh, Nanim if he bumps here. You could be right. It's hard to tell because of the angle, but. <coughs> what was? Very tight play from both players, making sure all the tokens are in the right place. What was James Ling flying again? So James Ling was flying and trajectory Nim with Thweek and Sunny Bounder with an Ion Cannon. And it was beautiful, and unfortunately, he was uh, unable to return down day two. He came second in Swiss. Life over X-Wing. So we've got here uh, a barrel roll from Nim. That's interesting. I, uh, he's not staying for the block. If he thinks, uh, if there's going to be a block there, maybe Pete's going to go fast and use Genius, or... Uh, no, I think he just doesn't want to get shot. Right? Sure. right? Fair enough. Pete's Nim has no shot. Pete did. I also thought Pete had an initiative because he shot first, but maybe not. Travis, can you so check? Nim uh, gets Ion and takes one damage from Sabine. Uh, so Pete must have bumped then, because Pete did move first. Yeah, he bumped. Yeah, he had to, he had to bump. Yeah. Because he did okay. one straight. All right. He's ioned. Which means he also can't bomb again because it's not going to reveal. Yeah, and because of genius, he's bumped. He can't drop a bomb. I'm so, so glad I'm not flying against this. Like, I don't want to say bullshit, but... Well, you'd be flying against Kelvin if you won your game. Oh, yeah? Which he's flying something very similar to Justin. So. Uh, Kelvin has a hell of a matchup against him right now. Though That three new uh, QD matchup is bad news. This is, uh, we may be seeing a Nim Miranda, Nim Miranda mirror match in the final. Double crits. Well, that means that he, it's possible to evade that, no. but he's not going to. And uh, Justin's Nim will eat <laughs> the last two shields. That's the worst roll I can think of for an auto blaster turret, but uh, he didn't. didn't. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, he has auto blaster. Oh. What am I talking about? And Justin returning auto blaster fire, but no damage. Why you know, wouldn't he have primary there? Say, do you like the choice of auto blaster over a four I do primary? not. A four die primary would be what I would have done. Okay. I think it's about the same. I think the diff- I, I think in terms of the amount of damage that you're pushing without mods is about the same. The difference is that he can't evade it. Jostro there, range two, it seems on. Uh, that looks like a one. On well, it Miranda. has to. But in yeah, sure, it's range one. Oh. But in arc, it's range two. 
I would not even bother with Miranda right now. Get that Nim off the board, and then the you have a Miranda is measuring for oh. for uh, oh. for shots on Jostro. Primary, yeah. Then it, it does have to be primary. Is she regening? Oh, nice, nice. So Jostro. Okay, here we damage. go. All right, guys, this is the roll. Everyone, hold on to the butts. This will be regenerate. Yeah. yeah. No damage. No one cares. No damage. So now we've got harpoons from Jostro okay. on Nim. All right, this is the roll. He's also got chips, so he'll put a crit that doesn't help. Oh, good point. He has chips. Yep. That will be a crit. He could alpha him off the board if he gets three. Spend. That's not what you oh, want to see. He's you only got a target lock. All of those. Yep, re-roll everything, Pete. You can do it, Pete. You can do it. You still have guidance. Pray, pray for naturals. You can do it, Pete. And that's oh, not what you want to see. That sucks. God damn. Hit crit on Nim. Let's see if we have anything on the other end. Could Nothing. be PS0. PS0 could be big. Could be direct. Hit could and be major explosion direct hit. Direct, direct hit. hit. Okay, okay. So two. So two hull on Nim. All right. The other thing engine upgrade gives a really big advantage for is uh, getting out of those bomb ranges. I think Justin's really thought about his potential matchups entering this. Oh, no, no. Sorry, wrong one. Yeah, no, direct. It w was direct hit, wasn't it? Was and he gets harpoons as well. Yeah. Yep. Interesting, hopefully, interesting. Hopefully, Pete clues into the fact that Moran is going to take another damage next turn and he can fire at her. Oh, my God. If he had rolled if he had rolled two more hits, I'd be a dead nim. That would be a dead nim. Assuming, of course, that the last crit would be a direct hit again. But Well, that's why you need your double modifications on those harpoons. Yes. Or right. not roll blanks four times, two times in a row. Well, nice. you can't you can't really control for that, and that's what we saw with uh, uh, Ryan f with Ryan Ferguson, right? When he was constantly setting up those gunboat attacks, he always had focused target lock, and you were bore the brunt of that in the last game we had on stream. Yeah, that game so, sucked. No, nah, I'm kidding. Ryan flew very very well, and but that's how he got into the top four. Is he's flown very very well with that list. Yeah. You know, there were a few of those lists out at the regionals, and he's the one that made sure that he was – ships were in the right place at the right time with the right tokens to make sure that his uh, – You're right, yeah. With the – make sure that he got those shots off, right? I, Yeah, I, I just don't – I didn't really like the deployment by Pete, unfortunately. I, again, I think Fen should have wrapped. Fen shouldn't be in that position where a PS10 Nim is just proton bombing you to death and harpooning you, like – why Fen has that five straight, he has that boost, he has the Atani, why isn't he coming from the sides? There's no reason to be on the front. So you would have swapped then Jostro and Fen in the deployment. And that might have been a huge difference. Jostro would be proccing earlier. Fen coming in on the flank would be really he wouldn't be dead, he'd be really, you know, punishing right now. So here's the thing, Miranda Miranda goes down on the board first, right? Miranda's in that lane. Well, you're gonna assume that Nim's gonna be somewhere in that lane too. So I would have I would have parked uh, Fen at the bottom of the board like closer to the bottom of the screen and just five straight at his ass through those rocks like get through there and come all the way from the side right you completely mitigate the threat of bombs on a head on joust you don't want to joust against that Pete should know this because uh, like he told me too like you don't want to joust near Miranda because those bombs and alphas will mess you up so with aces you know you you need to utilize your maneuverability especially when you don't have the PS um, like a Poe or something like that. Now, you're saying that a Nim versus Miranda final, so Pete's uh, Nim versus Justin's Miranda, Justin wins that matchup just because he's got TLT and Miranda can keep slamming and just getting out of dodge. Right? Like that's... that's Sorry, I wasn't listening. In, the, in Pete's Nim versus Justin's Miranda endgame, Justin's Miranda has the edge with TLT where she can just get out of there yeah. and just smashing into them. Right? I think so. Oh, we just got word from the floor that it looks like uh, Kelvin is beating uh, who's his opponent? Ryan, Ryan. Ryan Ferguson. So we're going to, if this keeps going the way it's going, we'll have a, a Nim Miranda versus Nim Miranda final here in uh, Toronto Regionals 2018. To the surprise of nobody. Well, to the surprise, I think, of maybe 60 or 70 people who showed up without Nim Miranda. Fair I'm but surprised. I'm very surprised. Okay. I'm also surprised that... Surprised. I didn't watch it on stream. We're not surprised. After giving you guys reps against it, I'm not very surprised that this is... Uh, uh, no, he's not one yet. Okay. 
Well, I mean, there's still space for Kelvin to lose, but uh, we'll have to trust word from the floor that it's not looking great for uh, for Ryan. What does the Gumby signify? The Gumby signify so so Gumby is is Pete's little mascot today, flying X wing. That's uh, Gumby comes out when he's harpooned somebody. Oh, okay. So there you go. He's harpooned. He points at the harpoon ship. Yeah, Gumby's <laughs> Gumby's Gumby's waving at Nim, reminding him he's been harpooned. And one more damage, one more crit into Nim, and he's automatically dead no matter what happens so uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how pete tries to set up the end game with jostro to try and get some of the damage onto miranda and missing that trigger where miranda bumped took a damage outside of the combat phase and he missed that just four die range when an unmodded attack on miranda i mean that might have done nothing and it might have taken two or three shields off so Oh. So, uh, moving into this next round, I'm just I'm not sure where they're going. Where did that stress come from with uh, Jostro? He, he stopped. Oh, so we've seen an inertial dampener stop from Jostro. Tokenless ship sitting there. We'll have to see what happens there. That's going to be very interesting. And without go. without Nim, oh sorry, without Fen, Jostro is not going to have that action economy. I don't get it. Where's that one bank coming from? He's going to get bomb landed anyway. So that one bank coming from? they're marking Nim okay. so that Miranda can move. This is going to be very interesting. I victory. believe they're both. No, Miranda's dropping a bomblet, and then we're going to see what her maneuver is. I, She's ion. She can't go anywhere. No, only Nim is ioned. Interesting. Hard to hear. And it'll be interesting to see if we get a slam or if he just sits there and uh, <clears throat> gets a primary or TLT onto Nim. Very precise precise movement here from Justin. I don't I don't get the inertial. Neither do I. That that Joshua is not gonna die from that bomblet, but it's gonna be rough for him. He's gonna take and it's a great positioning for that bomblet. For uh, it's gonna ha hit Nim no matter what happens. I would have I would have just done the one bank or something like that, or even K turned. And Miranda not getting bumped. Yeah. What? Oh, he's going for the target lock. Yeah, target lock. Oh, oh focus. Uh, not. Sh okay, I guess he was just pointing at him. Yeah, must be. Just so. Oh, Miranda banking around. Cute little uh, magnets there on Miranda. He's not dropping a bomb. He can't. He oh, right. he's not revealing he's a dial. Still ioned. He's, he got ioned again from the other ion bomb. Oh my lord! So now he can genius to drop it now because he didn't bump. I I would. He doesn't take damage from it, right? Yeah, scum, scum, scum nim will not take damage from his own bomb. He could drop seismics or thermals here. Genius and that, that may be what was taking some time right now. Pete's trying to think about whether he wants to drop a bomb or not, what actions he's looking to take, whether he wants to barrel roll potentially out of the bomblet. He 100% wants to draw, drop a bomb right here because if Miranda gets a damage engine, that's his only saving grace. Miranda's, it's worth noting that Miranda's also worth more than Nim, it looks like. In which case, yeah, Justin's. Justin got this in the bag, unless something, so something now, big happens. Pete before the game, we were going over, Justin, Pete, and I were talking about the interaction of Ion Bomb and Genius and Revealing Bombs. Thanks, Pierre. And so Pete was unfamiliar with how Ion Bombs affected drop, or how Ion Tokens affected dropping of bombs. He may not know that he can drop a bomb here. That was something we were talking about, but if it's not something he's familiar with, he may not immediately jump to genius and being able to drop a bomb here. I think he's. I, th I think he's. He recognizes that opportunity. I okay. don't think. Yeah, here it comes. Oh no, it's a barrel roll. He's not dropping the bomb. He doesn't. He's missed that opportunity. <sighs> no. Ooh. Or maybe he's thinking about not eating that bomblet. But I don't know. Well, we've seen two missed opportunities here from Pete that may not have swung the game in his fa in his favor, but are ways that he could have used to keep an, ef an efficient and uh, tight 
or, or work his way back up that mountain to fighting this list. Yeah. What does Athola do to the Ooh. Billy? It does a damage. Does she regen she... the next turn? No, they'd both be stressed, I suppose. I'm not Better sure. Better hope he's not on that rock. And, and Rebel Nim's going to be taking that that bomblet. Unless he holds it. And she's going to be a roll. Trajectory Simulator Proton Bomb at Jostro. Jostro is going to be taking what? a Proton Bomb and a bomblet this round. And we're Justin gonna... said on mic that he was planning on kamikazing his Nim because he didn't think he could save him. Which is why he made that maneuver. Okay. Interesting. So he's decided the bomb. to kamikaze his Nim, yelling kamikaze on stream, sure. and just killing his, or putting his Nim in a really rough position to get a killing blow on Jostro taking Pete's last piece off the board so that he ends up in that Nim versus Miranda final that Justin really thinks he can win with the TLT on Miranda. So let's hope well, let's see if Justin triggers. I don't know if they have Arc. I'm assuming he does with uh, Justero, but yeah, I wonder if Justero is going to trigger this round. I, I just, yeah, I wish he hadn't had Inertial. Oh, that's so he get takes a Proton first, Proton and Sabine. That looks like major explosion. Uh, a great crit to get, not proking. Fantastic for Pete. Uh, and we're going to see. Did he hold? Bomblet. Did he hold that bomblet? Uh, I think he may have held this previous bomblet. It's um, still there on the board. So he has to choose one. Well, I think. I think he's. I think he's deciding right now whether or not he wants to let it explode. Because if he doesn't let it explode, he has the potential of PS killing Justero with uh, with Captain Nim here. Oh my gosh. That's how your mouse over here. Oh my gosh. This is uh, a really interesting call here for Justin, trying to figure out which bomb that he's going to let go. Do it. And uh, he, he already screamed kamikaze. I yeah. feel like you can't. You gotta, you gotta follow through at that point. You can't pull up after you're, you've initiated the dive. Target lock with Nim. He's. What are we doing? One of those bombs has to degrade, guys. We've got to see what's going on. Uh, can we send one of our producer spies out there to oh, find he's, out? He's still talking about it. Okay. Oh, yeah. he's still trying to make that decision. Yeah. All right. That's. Uh, I believe Nim's abilities at the beginning of combat, so that'll be after his action. So we're gonna have to see uh, Pete letting uh, Justin take his missed opportunity focus, uh, missed opportunity target lock, much as uh, Justin allowed Pete to take his missed opportunity. Uh, action earlier, and we're gonna see. Ooh, we're gonna wait and see. This is a we've been talking about how tough of a decision this is. I can't imagine being on the board and having to make that call. Um, I mean, if just if that if that major explosion had gone off and done two damage, and taken an, another crit, or if uh, or blinded. Oh, he's dropping it. Is it gonna hit Nim? I don't know what that result was. You should detonate if, if you check I range think like it, that. Yep. You can't check range without detonating. So this is Justin on his own ship. Nim takes one damage and lives to shoot Jostro. Jostro's going to shoot first if he has arc. Yep. Let's Come see on, if, Jostero. Let's see if, yeah, Pete's now describing what he gets to do. This is the opportunity he's waiting he's for. He's calling a judge. Oh. Yeah. For arc. So now Justin being the owner of the bomb and the bomb going off, right? Could he have dumped bomblet on Jostro first? Well, I think he they might be checking the window. Yeah. Does Justero take damage first or shoot first? So the question right now is he has Peter has initiative, and he wants to know if now that this is taken damage from this bomb, can he trigger Jostero before? I believe he it should rolls be the rest of the bomb's initiative. effect. So it should be. I I'm not take. sure. I would think that both ships take damage first because the bomb detonates. There is no order. He like I don't think he even needs to 
roll one ship in particular order. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, Graham's gonna check, double check the rolling. Yeah, Graham, I'm. I am not jealous of Graham right now. This is such a fair, uh, a tough ruling to make, uh, and I think it's a it's a a flub on Justin's part. I definitely would have, as the controller of the bomb, does he get to choose which order that happens in, or does Pete get to choose because he's got initiative? That's a good question. Normally, it's on the attacker that you no, get to choose. Sure, no, but so it's Justin's bomb that's gone off. Yeah, does yeah, Justin yeah. choose the order of the ships that take damage from the bomb? Well, the, that's kind of what I was saying. Like, I think. Order, I'm sorry. The damage is decided in initiative order, isn't it? I don't. I don't know if it is. So, because I believe the Sabine player gets to choose which ships do the damage in which order, and then you remove the bomb, and then the Sabine goes, and you that's a good you, point. you have complete information about all of the damage that's happened that's when point. you assign the Sabine token, because it's when the bomb is removed, right? Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. Um, okay, so they have to finish resolving the entire bomb before Jostro Yeah, fires. that's what I think. And he's good. Jostro takes a damage. That's fine. Double tap. So he's going to get to shoot Nim. Yeah. So Nim, doesn't matter if Nim, Nim can't PS kill if he's dead before the combat phase. So, so that was one plus Nim. Or sorry, plus Sabine. One plus Sabine, so Jostro's on one. Yeah. On one. Oh, and the other bomb went degraded as well. He didn't hold either of them. That's very interesting. Or he just doesn't care and the, doesn't think the combat's going to get back there. I guess he forgot to call it. And he doesn't care, yeah. So Pete here taking a range one unmodded shot on Nim if it's in arc. Ooh. Guys, call a judge. Or ask Gumby. Or ask Gumby. Gumby's going to know. It, it seems like it's in. Like it's we rotated the... Yeah, there's... Uh, using a range... It don't... All right, Graham's there. We can uh, recognize his sleeves anywhere. He's going to jump in and... Yeah, I can see the glare from his phone case through the door right now, so... Yep. Oh, shit. And Justero looks like he might be out. That's so... Oh, oh Tight, man. tight, it's tight. It's going to come down to the angles. He said it's in. Yeah. It's in. Gra Graham says it's in. So, unmodded, four die, peak, range peak, one peak, shot. Peak. Sure, Pete gets Nim off the board in exchange for yeah. Jostro, but what can Jostro do at one hull? Like well, it's not even that. What, what the hell can Nim do against? Sorry, uh, Nim is harpooned as well. So Nim is harpooned, so right. that will automatically kill yep. Jostro if he gets a crit through, yep. which he just did. So oh, he does one damage yep. to Miranda. That's so funny. he does a damage to Miranda, and he kills his own ship. Justin remembering, Justin getting two damage on Pete's ships, Pete's Nim taking a damage, Pete's Jostro taking a damage from that harpoon, and everything just dying at once, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Off it goes. Before the combat phase, we have not even started shooting yet. The carnage. Nim is about to have five health left against Miranda, who might as well regen on this turn. Um, yeah. <laughs> so Justin kamikaze his Nim in. Strike call. Taking it on the chin, blowing up Jostro in an exchange of fire. Just absolutely brutal. Beautiful decision by Justin. I, I have to say, like, he's he's reading the the overall match correctly. He he understands like what's the target priority. Looking at Might as well focus that. Yeah, Nim, spends his Nim focus. Can't shoot, right? Two so. hits, takes the damage. And are we gonna see a regen? Uh, question from chat. What's the crit on Miranda? The crit on Miranda is stunned pilot. If he bumps, he takes a damage. That was from uh, Justin Proton bombing himself to smash Pete off the board in an extremely aggressive opening engagement. That uh, Now we're going to see uh, Miranda just run and gun and regen, and it's going to be very difficult there for Nim to get back in this game. Um, Did Nim not take any damage? Did Nim not take any damage? Nim definitely would have taken a damage from... He lost shields. Oh, I did. I thought I put it... Yeah. It was just he, lost, he lost shields. You might have to reset. You may have to reset the... He took, he took one damage from the uh, uh, from the harpoon, and then he just took one damage from the first tilt he shot. Oh, that's the it? Second. Oh, yeah. okay. Because the second shot was a regen, but... And did no damage to the regen. I think she should have to do damage oh, to no. regen. No, you're right, you're right, yeah. yeah. 
because I said five. Yeah, so it's up to six. So right Nim now. versus Miranda. Cancer versus Cancer. No, this like, is going to be. Miranda can't lose this. Right? No, I'm saying is that like as the pilot ability, she should have to do the damage on the region. Oh. On the region, the shield. And so here we've yeah. got a uh, Justin and Pete very, making very quick decisions on their dials. They know exactly where they want to go. That they were able to think about that. I'm assuming during their their very long pre-combat phase maneuvers, we've got a very long maneuver here from from Justin doing a three bank there. Uh, getting Miranda out, hopefully still in TLT range, and uh, it's going to be very difficult for Nim to come back here. And uh, what, if anything, do you think Pete can do to get back into this game? Um, I don't think he can win this ever. <laughs> the long range scanner is there, putting a, a target lock on Nim. And four forward from Pete. The problem is it's not even like you're flying against a dash where you, you have a chance of catching up in damage. It's just even if you like you're just you're going to take damage every turn. I think I think what we need to see happen here is um does he have long range scanners? He has long yeah, they both have long range scanners. Pete threw down a long range scanner at target lock before he moved. But uh, she's shields too. That's the issue. It's not even like she's you know sh she's at risk of taking some nasty crit like a blinded or turns or red, something like that that might swing it back. Uh, he's just in a tough position. He's he's down in points as well. I just I'm not sure there's a whole lot he can do. Uh, Pete's one hell of a player, but. It's also he's, pretty realistic. He's got 25 minutes. Yeah, but... Interesting. Oh, yeah, might as well. Might as well. When now, you're when you're this close to a final table, there's no reason to not kind of turn in, give yourself more options. I'm surprised he's even slamming. He's slamming right now? Yeah, I'm surprised he is. Because, uh, like, something players might do is they just might, like, point in that direction and then see what the maneuver is. Because if Nim does a... Uh, if Nim does a K turn, then you just go the other way, right? Well, we're not seeing a Talon roll from Nim, but uh, a hard two as he follows through. He has to come through the rocks to engage. Uh, he still has some of his bombs. I'm not sure if, if Pete's used any of them. Thermals. Thermals gives a slight advantage. Interesting barrel roll, trying to close the distance. Now, maybe he can three bank in, throw a trajectory simulator, try and bomb Miranda at a distance like that might be possible if he's out PSing her okay so so I think I think this is Pete's really only his only option right now his only option is assuming that he has a thermal detonators left which I believe he does he needs to do his best to line that up right because Miranda's greens are god awful right I think she might be able to chew and then chew hard or something but one bank one straight two straight only yeah, but you can choose straight to clear and then two slam. Yeah. So right. that's your most maneuverable option. Or if you want to do a one bank, one becomes bank. a very predictable ship, is what you're saying. Yeah, it becomes a very predictable ship, and he could potentially a two bank, sneak not the in. three bank. Yeah, going slow. So Justin does not want a straight on joust. Does and Pete's got scummed him, so he can't throw a preemptive bomb and hold it there like Justin was able to do. Justin still has a harpoon, doesn't he? Justin has not shot har harpoons with from Miranda. I believe he still may have two harpoons on Miranda. That is, yeah. I think he needs to bear a roll with Nim if he hasn't already taken an action. He has not taken an action. That's that's what Pete's taking his time right now to do is to think about what he wants to do. I think he bear roll down towards the board, do a five straight. That's five, five straight, thermal five straight, and try and get a stress on Miranda next round. Something like that. He wants to line up a lane. The problem is that, that Miranda can cut too hard north or south right now. But I think he's setting himself for the five straight puts him in a position where he can, he can at least start chasing. It doesn't look like he took an action at all. He set a dial for the next round. Interesting. That's fine. I guess I guess that's fine. If he had barrel rolled, I, I suppose that would have uh, really telegraphed what lane he's going for. But, hmm...
Very if, interesting. If I'm the Miranda player, if I'm Justin, I just slow roll that. I take the thermal. I don't even care. Launch the uh, the fully modded harpoon that you can regen off of too, right? There's no harm in throwing a three die attack. Um, if you're confident that it'll stick. It's important to note that if uh, he doesn't, if he burns, he can whip and he can end the game on one turn. Five dice damage from being knocked prone. Pete, uh, Pete doesn't have Sabine. Home. No, I'm saying Justin can kill Pete oh. on the on the harpoon alone if he burns the shield. That's it's risky, a though. Five die harpoon. Because he's going to get shot first. And he might also take a bomb. Pete does not ha have harpoons. No, right. I know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying from Justin's perspective. Right. Because Samit's saying that Justin could easily just like five harpoon the uh, the Nim right off the board. Tight, but I, he's. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill Miranda without harpoon. So that's some major munitions in the next twenty minutes. This is this is such a tough position for Pete. I feel. I really feel for him here. Well, he knew it was a rough game going in. I think that was the conversation we had beforehand. Yeah. And uh, uh, he, he, he didn't quite get the positioning he wanted to on the or that yeah. that he needed to on the, on the engagement. I think he sacked Fen, unfortunately, and I, like I think Justin realized that really quickly. Yep. Justin realized if I kill Fen, Miranda is um, safe. As long as Miranda is safe, it doesn't matter who Pete has on the board left. Um, between Justero and Nim, that's that's a winnable We're game. Seeing a one bank here from Miranda, he's leaving a bomblet behind. Sure. So, have you guys talked about Justin at all? Uh, a little bit. We know he's from Sudbury, yeah. but uh, do you have any other insights than that? Not really. Um, I had a brief chat with him. Uh, awesome guy, really nice guy. Um, and he was saying how it's kind of hard to practice for a big tournament in a smaller community. Absolutely. So from people who aren't from the Ontario region, Sudbury is a relatively small town that's a few hours. Is it just is it a few hours or it's just four or five hour? hours north? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Four, four or five hours north of Toronto. So its population is fairly limited. And he was saying that, um, you know, everyone in this area kind of likes having fun and they don't want to fly super competitive stuff. So... Which is mm -hmm. fine. I think like most communities thrive off of that as well, or some communities thrive off of that. Uh, I know PTL does. Um, but he was saying he likes to get his practice on Vassal, and he made the change. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the match that he made the change to engine upgrade and auto blaster um, after some practice. On I have Vassal. to say, I really love his token management. Yeah. And uh, Pete here banking, not dropping that bomb, and. Yeah. Getting a primary shot on Miranda, maybe. Yeah. Hit crit. Maybe you forgot about the harpoon. Does he want a target lock? He spends the target lock. Obstructed. Nice clean game from Justin. That's that's a Just, roll. That's that's a. It, I don't know if you know, but Miranda might be a Tie Fighter. There he goes, burning the shield. Burning the shield. Five die harpoon. Oof, he Pete. Does damage, he does much damage. Here we go. Oh. Now we see more. Oof. Need five, five damage. Oh. How many crits? One crit. Hey, Three hit. Four our, hits. Are harpoon missiles good? Our harpoon missiles are quite good. Uh, he needs to roll one more die. Oof. Uh, Shelby, your question. There's really no point, like. I don't think he expects Justin, or sorry, he expects Pete to be there. It's, I think some gamers, some players, because it, they have bomb crit, it, they just want to do it. Blinded so, pilot? Is that what that is, Victor? Out What's of the practice so they never forget. Yeah. Blinded. Blinded, okay. I think that's game. Blinded pilot on Nim. Nim with two hull remaining. I'm not sure how, how Pete comes back. It was... He needed to get that that engagement needed to be very different. Dropping a thermal, barrel rolling out of arc, or barrel rolling away from the harpoons or the TLTs. That did not happen. He eating eating five damage there from a harpoon. Yeah. Now did Pete not roll enough dice? If that was if no, he, he just said he rolled the second one. It was a blank. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, Justin again made the right call. He one banked up, realizing that rock would prevent him from coming down uh, fast. So he just slow rolled, set up the harpoon, gives him the option to get the hell out too on the next turn. Oof. I don't know. Uh, at this point, I'd say roll in with Miranda. Nim can't shoot. Take a four die primary to, and and take Nim off the board. And shoot him again with the harpoon. The second harpoon. Uh, yeah, he, one more left. He still has another harpoon. That's absolutely right. Just burn on the shield. Yeah, Ziffer, so. and it's it's always good to see people. I was telling Justin, it's really nice to see people outside of the core doing well. Because um, you know we we don't have a lot of contact from guys you know that far north or anything so it's good to see them not only coming out but you know having a good time and obviously justin's doing really well it was really nice we had uh half of the cut eight of the eight of the top 16 were local guys ptlers and then we had uh the rest of it was a mix of we had david dole from upstate new york we had uh ryan uh, ferguson from from kitchener and and uh and Grand River Gonk area, we had uh, Jean Marc from Ottawa, so we had a, a really good spread of Ontario here represented today in the yeah. Great Lakes region, and that was that's really nice to see. We've got Justin here from Sudbury, yeah. so this is just uh, it was just a wonderful wonderful tournament here today. A lot of local representation, yeah. a lot of Ontario showing up and and doing very well, and it's nice to see. We had some uh, we had Scott Sheffield and some of the Kingston guys show up, so that's always great to see. Um, and oh, did he land on a rock? Did he rock himself right here? That's okay. He's blinded. He's tr just trying to give Pete some hope. I believe that is a he rock. He misses the rock. He misses the rock. Really? Adjacent is not overlapping. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Um, so just really quickly, Dragoon Kane. Uh, no idea what Pete's sorry, Pete or Justin's vassal is, and. We've got a question in Plavius about trajectory simulator ruling at one of the regionals. Again, Chicago made what we believe is an incorrect ruling at their regionals, and they're the only regionals to make Let, such ruling. Yeah, like, let's, uh, it's not right for us to say whether or not it's incorrect or not. It's just I, I don't think we would have done it that way is the only thing. And like, Pete is on that rock. He did a hard three. <laughs> this is shocking. I would not have ever called this maneuver. This is very weird. Miranda. So well, can he's bumping you, into Miranda. Can you yeah, shed? Shot. Can you shed blinded when you're on a rock? Uh, no. Okay. Oh. In or no, yes. In the old damage deck, no. In the new damage deck, yes. Mm, I don't know. Tough question. Although it looks like we've got a uh, a damage going through on Nim. Is that that? And they just drop the bomb. Balance. I mean, Justin has Bomblet. He'll be able to uh, Bomblet and Sabine and just wipe Pete off the board. No matter what he does, Pete's stressed. He's got to do a two forward here, and I'm not really sure where you go from out from that. Apathy. I think I agree. I don't think you can shoot. This is your next opportunity to attack. This is not an opportunity. Now, chat's asking for vassal names. Some people are pretty private about their vassal names. And uh, I know Pete does not play on vassal. He uh, he plays locally only. Um, I'm not sure if he plays online for Star Trek Attack Wing. but uh, no, he plays, he What's plays your vassal name? Year for I don't play on vassal. Mine's Hung Like Fung. Hung Like Fung? So no, no, it's not. It's not. No? No, it's zero TC. Zero TC. All right. And that's, your, that's also your call sign on uh, the FFG community forums, is it not? Yes, but I don't, I don't really post there anymore uh, FFG forums you are audacity to try to prove how dice work <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I mean uh, FFG forums are a silly place where no one likes to go it's just there's so many players now that so like he, he still had his blind if I would post it back up like every thread is you know just six pages of reading of people shouting I agree <clears throat> kind of I think back then it was a lot easier to browse you know, there'd be like three or four comments and you can chirp in. But now you you type something. And again, this is just my opinion, but this, the threads are so big that probably no one's going to read your response. Yeah, absolutely. I prefer uh, Reddit myself, and that's because through mm -hmm. the voting system and mm -hmm. because the comments are nested, you can follow the conversations much easier. And an old BB board style system like FFG, I find it very difficult to follow those conversations, see what's going on. And you get all the, all sorts of nonsense thrown in with a real conversation, whereas on Reddit, a non nonsense or something that's not really relevant is going to get 
generally voted down. So I agree. Can you imagine a day though, where so bomblet? Are we seeing bomblet here? Yep. There's the one. Got there's bomblet. the bomblet. What do you think he's doing for a maneuver? He's uh, already revealed the three bank. Oh, I bet it's a three bank. Good call. It might be over the rock. Don't. What are you doing, Justin? It doesn't matter if it's you've got TLP. Yeah, but uh, it doesn't matter if it's over the rock. If he's got they need TLP. to. They need I to mean, hold that rock. If the, but I don't if think it matters. Bomba doesn't kill him. His TLP is real. He's got one health left. So now Justin came down to the PTL Open, I believe, uh, last spring. And we're going to be having the next PTL Open coming up in September. So if you're listening and you're in the Ontario area, if you're within a few hours drive of Ontario, this September PTL is going to be doing uh, another Open. Our last, our first one was uh, hugely successful, and we're hoping to repeat that again in the uh, in the fall. If you so. ever want to see lists like five quad jumpers being fielded, PTL Open is the place to go. You can uh, uh, yeah. you can watch actually last you year's can, PTL. You can watch our videos absolutely on the BTTV live channel. They're they're all uh, all the uh, so uh, producer Travis jumping, uh, producer Victor jumping in and reminding us that uh, all of those uh, videos are on the VTTV YouTube channel, so you can watch them all there. Uh, Pete missing the rock it seems on the way by, missing the bomb on the way by, but will probably still eat uh, the TLT. So did you want to answer uh, D Saul's question? We have another. We've we've spoken about the trajectory and simulator and genius rule a couple of times. Again, Chicago ruled that it didn't happen or, or that they don't work together. Uh, Graham and I couldn't justify that. I couldn't justify that. Graham, who's the marshal here today, couldn't justify that. So, and you have not seen a single other uh, regionals make that call. And uh, that's it. They shake hands. Pete goes down to.